With the joint press conference, President el-Sisi and President el-Bashir presented the outcomes of their talks. Both leaders appeared cheerful as they confirmed that nothing will stand against their plans to deepen cooperation economically and politically. Egypt and Sudan say they will form joint approaches to engage in resolving regional challenges. They've discussed the Grand Renaissance Dam file, security in the Red Sea. Egypt's visit came right after the region saw developments in the African Horn, warmer ties between Eritrea and Ethiopia, peace agreement in South Sudan. There are many sensitive issues that concern both countries, and they've realized that working on them together will have positive impact on them both. The two presidents are leading a plan to enhance connectivity between the people of the two countries. Three roads have been already paved joining Egypt and Sudan by land. They've announced a new arrangement to extend railroads between them and finalize an agreement to connect their electricity network. Electricity connectivity will make Sudan's political position towards Egypt become more balanced, especially in the GERD talks. The recent developments in the Nile Basin and Horn of Africa puts all these countries together in an opportunity to have regional economic cooperation to push a kind of stability for these countries. That's crucial as we're seeing more reports that extremists are coming from Iraq and Syria to the Horn of Africa. Egypt and Sudan believe that economic development will help them battle these rising threats of terrorist organizations in the region. Egypt's kinship to be part of efforts for regional stability has encouraged El Sisi to quickly arrange for this exceptional summit. The two leaders were originally scheduled to meet in October, part of their strategic talks that includes ministers of foreign affairs and chiefs of intelligence. The warmth El Sisi felt in Khartoum this time has encouraged him to confirm that October summit. It will be the 23rd meeting with President El Bashir in nearly four years. Adel Mahroui, CGTN, Cairo.